Hi, Thales here. I didn't write an intro for this one. Automaton transfusion, let's go. One of the things you'll notice right away is almost every scene in this movie looks like it has some motion blur on it. So this guy's working at some kind of morgue and he's cleaning up and he hears a sound from one of the bodies and I bet you have no clue where this is going. Dead. So the intro is about some guy we knew nothing about dying. Wow, what an amazingly new concept. I've never heard of such a thing in horror before. I also like how Buddy's legs have apparently disappeared as he gets dragged in. Alright, so then we get text on a black background for a long time. Well, I guess the next scene is going to show something really important, so they didn't want to overlay them. Oh, come on, I'll fix this right now. Seriously, the way they do it, it just wastes eight minutes doing absolutely nothing! Hey, Simone. <laughs> <laughs> Get it? He said hi and they don't like him! Hi, hilarious! They had better not go to this party tonight. Well, their best friend is dating Jackie, so I'm sure they'll be there. God, do not remind me. <laughs> Wow, that's such strong acting and such an interesting new story. I don't know why you wouldn't want to open your movie this way. But then to be completely original, the school jock shows up and acts like a dick. God, I'd like to fuck up that kid's day. Yeah, take that! Yelling at you when you can't hear me anymore! I'd like to drive a chainsaw right through his face. Wow, that's a totally reasonable response. Just kill him. Anyway, their other friend Chris is making out with his girlfriend and she pops her top off. What a great idea to do in the school parking lot. Hey, keep it hey! ah! That's a great way to not cause the students to panic there, Teach. He's followed shortly by the zombie that bit him. I guess they thought one bite would be enough for him and didn't bother to subdue him, but he engages Scott here in an epic battle. Asshole. I don't know where to begin. Scott just goes around wearing these knuckles, making no effort to hide them, even shoving the guy he thought about hitting earlier with them on. Which are pretty illegal to have in school, and if this is supposed to take place in Florida like it was shot in, then they're illegal to have in the whole state. Then he wipes off the blood with his hand. Yeah, that's just brilliant. Why don't you lap up a few pints with your tongue, too? And of course, nothing at all comes of this. He doesn't even get detention. So Chris says they should all go to some concert tonight instead of going to the party. Uh, this shit's fucking gross, man. Yeah, she probably has cooties. Yeah, kiss her. Kiss her good. Now let's go. Deal. <laughs> Have fun tonight. Bye. Bye. Really? Is that actually how that scene was written? Dickface tries to hit Chris with garbage, misses, he tries to grab it or something, and they drive away? No need for another take there. Looks great. Cut to a random kid coming home when... Spiders exist. Shit. He goes upstairs and finds some blood on the bed and his mom is also covered in it. Mom. What the fuck? Mom, how many times have I told you if you're gonna kill people, don't do it on the bed? I'm and that whole thing had nothing to do with anything. This sucks. I know. It's the old man Busby leaving his mower on. I probably fell asleep on the toilet again. Anyway, Chris tells his dad he's taking off when his zombie brother or some random I don't really know comes in and finishes him. What's up with you dating this grungy ass stoner? He's not a stoner, okay? <laughs> Actually, I'm pretty sure that's real and that's how these guys got paid for this movie. So this girl arrives at the party and a group of zombies were just waiting for her, apparently. I guess everyone else is next. Huh. Radio. What's going on with that radio? How long have we been driving? Scott. Hi. How long have we been driving? Yeah, ask the guy who's been asleep. That makes oh, sense. Huh? When they get into the city, though, it's completely bare. Or is it? I 
Are you telling me they can't hear that at all? What the hell is that noise? Oh, okay, they do at least hear them running in. Are you serious, movie? They didn't notice this big group of zombies running at them until they got right in their faces. And also, you know, that's the same direction they drove in from. <laughs> Who are you? What are you doing here? Can you tell us what the hell is going on? They were eaten out of that. <laughs> Who got eaten? Oh, that wasn't the interesting part? Everyone. Oh shit, everyone. Now it's serious. Are you telling me that the, those people out there are fucking zombies? That's actually not what he said at all. It could have just been a group of crazed cannibals for all you know. So it's night now and the party people are outside and the zombies haven't attacked yet? Guess they just really wanted that one girl. It's so funny. You can't get a hold of your boyfriend. This is probably a really silly question, but when does some dialogue that means a damn begin? Meanwhile, the zombies decide to abandon the bar too. So where do they go? Why would he know? To get their next meal. <sighs> Meanwhile, we sit here and wait for them to come back. Guess I missed the part where he said they should stay there. Then we get an intercutting of Chris and Jackie both splashing water on their faces. Riveting. Oh, hey, Maddie. How you doing? Were you coughing up blood again? Are you all right? What <laughs> No, 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 cat sketch! Huh? Oh, uh, oh, uh, what's wrong, Phyllis? You did just see what happened there, right? Yeah, I saw what happened. He ripped out her baby and ate it like an apple. So what's with the dramatic music? Well, it is a pretty terrible scene, and I thought that, you know... Sketch, you know what I want. Fine. Here we go again. Are you okay? Are you alright? Ah! I think you've had enough to eat for one day. Uh, you should probably make your one-liner after you've disposed of the zombie. Besides, I think we all know what he should have said. I got a shotgun. Gotta shoot him in the head. <laughs> wow, that was extremely stupid. Back at the party, we find out this place apparently has an extremely soundproof bathroom. <laughs> Yes, keep screaming your head off. Let them know you're in there, you stupid little twit. And this girl gets to her car, so she's safe. <laughs> Except for the fact she forgot she's in a convertible thud down. Oh, I guess she didn't have her head on very well. <laughs> Phyllis, you're pitiful. Yeah, yeah. We have to make it back to the car. I'm not going back out there. Let's stay. <laughs> Stay! I'm not staying here! Okay, let's leave. LEAVE?! Are you crazy?! I'm the complainy guy! I knew this was a bad idea. Since this character's never spoken against anything yet, I assume that was just the actor talking to himself there. Oh, apparently the soundproofing is wonderful all over this place. Get the hell out of here, you dick! Are you being a zombie right now? That is so inconsiderate. Fuck! Engage awesome battle! Shit, Meyer push shampoo. Oh, and this girl's jaw comes right off. At least that stops the screaming. Guess Dick is gonna live for a while though, since Zombie Girl here doesn't seem to want to do anything. Oh, never mind. I got a shotgun. What? How the hell did that happen? The camera is so close in and shaky, I can't even tell what's going on. He's there shooting, and then he throws his gun, and he's dying. Well, that guy did add quite a bit to this movie. He added uh, a shotgun. Chris gets home and kills his dad, gets back into the car, and... <laughs> Apparently he's got a bit of lag there. 
and Jackie has been sitting in that bathroom corner crying the whole time it took them to drive back into town when she realizes there's a window, but it's got a zombie right outside it. Ah, he shut the door! Guess we're out of luck, guys! Then the zombie of Dickface shows up and the camera shakes around and I guess they get out somehow. How far is the school? Uh, I think I'd try to get out of the town, but I guess that's just me. This place is a death trap. They can smell we're here. So Tim doesn't want to wait around again. How the hell do we get past them all? There's hundreds out there! Complain! 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 Sketch. What? It was a pretty dramatic moment this time. Yeah, a bunch of idiots come yelling out of a garage at a bunch of zombies who are apparently just sitting back waiting for this. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I know what needs to be done here. Sick. Apparently, Tim somehow ends up with the blonde bitch from earlier in a lake. Are you okay? No. <laughs> At least she's honest, I guess. She swims out, but Tim waits around for no reason, and yeah, he gets out of the water without his legs. Don't worry, they don't try to cauterize the wound. He dies right after, and the rest gets shook into a shack. <laughs> They decide to let her deal with that zombie alone. Shut up! Jackie! Jackie! Come here! That's enough! The poor zombies had enough! My zombie sense is tingling. <sighs> Bitch ends up with some other nobody we know nothing about, making this all rather pointless. And no doubt he'll die in 5, 4, 3, 2... <laughs> So they go to the school and find? Oh, and somehow by going the other way, Blonde Bitch ends up at the school too. Scott runs in to save her, but he forgot to start his chainsaw. Camera shaking goes on again and Scott apparently found it disorienting as well and almost falls off the ledge. Fine, I was trying to keep it a surprise for you, but I got Tim free right here. Oh! You were right. I can't stay. No! I can't stay. Don't you get it? No! We're gonna get out of here. No, we're not! We're gonna get out of here, I promise. Come I on. wasn't right! I'm gonna freak out for absolutely no reason so my character can do something completely stupid! Tim was right the whole time! We've got to complain, no matter what the situation. We're fucked! Well, with that attitude... No. So with that, Scott decides to go chainsaw a few zombies and purposely die while doing so. Sketch, I need some really dumb music for this. Phelis, I don't think I can get another piece done for you already. Fine, but start working on something really big for the end, okay? I'll see what I can do. Anyway, these characters dying doesn't really mean that much because they're about as interesting as the twits in the ruins. Someone's alive, <laughs> and we're gonna find them. Are you serious? 
So Blonde Bitch gets to be the new complainer, but her time doesn't last too long. <laughs> then random plot convenience strikes when a hand pulls him into a secret bunker in the school. Aren't you Lee, the janitor? Those things out there aren't any fucking accident. I was stationed here, like a hundred others, including your father. My dad? He's a mortician. Your dad led the experiments here in Downey. Oh right, a plot! That's what this movie is missing! Might as well try to cram one in now at the end of the movie! This town and Grover City aren't on any maps. Out here we're all just guinea pigs. Yeah, of course! Instead of conducting these tests in some kind of facility or something, we'll just include this town and the surrounding cities, and no one living in them will ever become the wiser! Do you really expect us to buy that movie? In the movies, Zombies can't think. They can't run. Yeah, the movies never make the zombies run now, do they? Government and the army started doing tests to reanimate corpses. So the military made the zombies. Remind you of any other shitty zombie film? Well, his dad invented a serum that rejects the virus. Where is it? The morgue. Oh, of course. Why keep it in your little school base, too? That'd be dumb. We need to get to the morgue. But to risk your life to get that serum isn't realistic. Why the hell did you tell him about it, then? Anyway, they leave the school easily, apparently, and go off to the morgue. More shaky camera crap happens, and a person in a biosuit shows up. Who are you? What are you doing here? Jackie, get back! <laughs> what the hell? Yay, it's help! Let's kill him and get the military after us! Skitch, let's get some music for that one. Sketch? Yeah, we'll come back to it. So they get out the door and shaky camera, I feel sick. It's locked! Ah! Hold on. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a pretty funny joke. Fuck off, yeah, we really need more of this, more same old shit storyline with boring as hell characters, yeah, I can't wait. Sketch, just play us out. Sketch, are you alright? Did you fall in some blood again? <laughs> ah! How is this even working? You're not even in the same place as me! Luckily, I gave some T-Virus antidote around, just in case I start to zombie out while working on a project. Hey, Phelis, you doing okay? Phelis?